Is there added pressure on you going into this game? No Wayne Rooney, no Jermaine Defoe involved against Switzerland? Um, not really. I mean, I don't feel too much pressure, to be honest. I mean, I played in the last the last couple of the games and it's gone really well for me. So, no, I don't feel too much pressure, to be honest. I'm just going to try and go out there. If I get the nod, play as well as I can and, and, and hopefully England win. I feel I've been hearing that for, for the longest time, to be honest. I mean, I seem to sit in this, this chair a lot and people say to me, oh, is this the time you're going to establish yourself? But... All I can keep doing is, is doing what I'm doing for, for England and, and playing as well as I can and, and as long as Fabio keeps selecting me then I must be doing something right. England adopting the 4-3-3 formation, does that suit you or would you prefer someone as a partner up front? Um, either or to be honest, I mean, I, I've been there for the last couple of weeks, I was playing with Big Emil, um, he, he's fantastic to play because he's a big man and I can work off him but uh, there's been periods where I've had to play the 4-5-1 the four, or 4-3 as you put it as well so I, I feel I'm capable of doing both roles and and whatever system Fabio picks and if I get the nod then I'm sure I'll be able to do a good job. You've had an eventful season, just when you reflect on it, how well do you think you've done both for club and country? How well has it gone for you? Yeah, it's gone It's gone really, really well. I mean, as I've said before, people probably questioned why I went to, to Aston Villa, but for me, I always knew it was the right place for me to go. Um, it's worked out really, really well. Um, I've loved every minute of being down there and, and I said my England career's picked up as well, so at the moment it's going really well and, and I'll make it continue. Um, to be fair, I don't feel I'm doing anything different, to be honest. I mean, you know, Fabio said that obviously the best thing I could have done was go to Aston Villa, but me as a player, I feel like I'm not doing anything different. I'm just trying to do the same things, score, score as many goals as I can and, and play as well as I can. But as I said, Fabio keeps picking me at the moment, so as long as he keeps doing that, then I might be doing something right. Jolien Lescott, we heard from earlier, saying that you're the, the most natural finisher in the Premier League. How do you react to it when, when a player like that says comments like that? Yeah, um, I mean, I've been playing against Jolion since I was at Ipswich and he was at, he was at Wolves and, you know, when he, he's turned into a top-dock defender, it's always difficult to play against. But yeah, it's always nice when your, your, your fellow peers, you know I mean, give you a compliment like that. And as I said, if I can get on the pitch on Saturday and, and really, you know I mean, give it a good go, then hopefully England can win and I can get a couple of goals and play well. For me personally, it's, it's a massive game for me because I want to play for England as, uh, as, many, as many games as I can, as many caps as I can and try and establish myself as you know, I mean, England number nine. So that's all I'm thinking about, to be honest. Regardless of what's going on elsewhere, that's, that's my concern and my, and my goals, really. All the guys in the, in the squad are focused. I mean, we've had some good results in the in qualifying games leading up till now, and we want it to continue. So there's, there's no reason why, with everything else that's going on outside of the, the England camp, we can't focus and, and get the job done on Saturday.